was certainly not us. Yet nobody that knows Brock in his inner circle would be remotely surprised. His whole life has been a comeback story. And we're going to let you in on some of this legend to be backstory, like how Brock was discovered while returning punts, and how he almost lost it all from his sickness and a mangled hand. Brock Purdy has surpassed expectations with his meteoric rise to fame. Being brought up at almost light speed, quarterback, an NFL team, and winning games like it was nobody's business. He recently just broke a record and did something no 49er has pulled off in history, so we'll get to that later on. Oh, and he's leading them into the playoffs while going undefeated. The man was almost undrafted. This has never happened before. His resilience and sheer will to make something of himself in the face of what seems like insurmountable odds is truly inspirational and a tale that has to be told to all audiences. So stay with us till the end of this video so we can take you inside the real life sports film that parallels a Broadway play or a Hollywood script. When bad things happen, there can often be an unexpected upside. Brock Purdy of the San Francisco 49ers is a great example this time. The 23-year-old has turned into a star in the making, allowing fans and commentators with his talent and skill on the field. He is the first Mr. Irrelevant in NFL history to start a regular season game as quarterback. So let that sink in for a moment. Do you even remember a Mr. Irrelevant? Let us know in the comments. And just for you fans at home that don't know what Mr. Irrelevant is, it is the traditional name given to the last pick of the NFL Draft. In this case, the 262nd pick. Well, he has certainly shed that ironic title, becoming known as one of the most promising young quarterbacks around, giving 49er faithful something to get excited about. San Francisco is a 12-4 on a nine-game winning streak headed into the playoffs silver lining of unfortunate events such as injuries can indeed be exceptional and sometimes even sparkle like a gem. Brock is living proof that dreams do come true. The real life Rudy has done the unthinkable and become one of the best sports stories of the year, even beating out the GOAT himself, Tom Brady, during this win streak. Please go to the comments section and let us know of any other similar stories about some unlikely heroes in NFL and sports history that stick out to you, much like the Brock Purdy story. But first, how did it all start? Well, with a lot of adversity, setbacks, and surprise, Brock always had it hard when it came to standing out from the crowd. He always had resistance in some form from the universe. The neophyte quarterback got off to an inauspicious start to his football career by getting sick and having injuries in his high school career. Now that made it harder to shine in order to gain the attention of big college programs. In order to be looked at and recruited, you need to be at 100% and you have to be performing better than competition because college and professionals have a very analytical eye and a very short memory. You can't do that when you are sick or injured. His freshman year, he was a backup punt returner at Perry High School in Arizona. He was noticed by his coaches to have a very strong arm because he would throw the ball back to the punter 40 yards away after each punt and land it within inches of his hand each time. Yep, that is how his magical arm got noticed in practice. So when he was upgraded to quarterback, Purdy was very happy and excelled, but things would turn bad very soon. Things got ominous when Brock got mono his junior year in high school. This hampered that season and made him lose a ton of weight and strength. Then he broke his hand playing paintball, which didn't exactly make it easy for Brock on his trek to get to any scholarship offers. Things got serious when Brock lost 20 pounds and had no activity for six weeks. His arm grew soft and passes wouldn't fly out from his arm like before. When playing paintball this summer going into his senior year, he got the spine of a cactus lodged into his left hand. He needed surgery in order to get the cactus removed. Surgery is never a good thing, never mind on an athlete and on the hand of a football player, a football player who plays quarterback and needs his hands. Imagine having these two unfortunate incidents back to back, trying to build your high school career. An invisible force was always trying to make Purdy irrelevant. 
He would fully recover and put all the weight back on that he lost and start to become his old self again and more. Now the hand was back to normal and he was able to shine his senior year and become the prolific player that he envisioned. Purdy averaged 314.6 passing yards and 72.6 rushing yards per game to go with 67 total passing and rushing touchdown, leading Perry to within eight points of a state title. And it was those numbers and the title of Gatorade Player of the Year that brought Iowa State knocking. They took notice of this very desirable prospect at the time and scooped him up. They beat out 13 other teams at the time that were all jockeying for position to recruit him. Iowa wound up showing the most interest, according to Brock. After they wooed him, Purdy packed his bags for the next level. And what would come next was another moment of his unique underdog resilience. He was a backup for the Cyclones and just needed that chance, that opportunity, that big break that everyone hopes for. And then it happened. The starting quarterback for Iowa State got injured. Brock Purdy made an unforgettable entrance as a true freshman in the 2018 season, replacing starter Zeb Noland in the first quarter and proving that he was more than capable of elevating the play of his new college team. After completing a beautiful touchdown pass, he showed off his dual threat capabilities by keeping the ball on a zone read and running 29 yards for another score, giving it an extra flourish as he crossed into the end zone with a mini high step. It was a breathtaking moment that demonstrated why Purdy would be all that he is today. Brock was third string back in Iowa as well, so are you starting to see a pattern here? Brock started from the bottom all the time, and if you were following him or close to him, you would know somehow he always finds a way to rise to the top. Without getting into too much detail about his college years, he did very well. To quickly summarize, he ended his career at Iowa breaking many records, like having 14 games with 300 plus passing yards. That total tripled anyone who ever played for the Cyclones. He left a three-time All-Big 12 quarterback and held 32 school records, including career pass attempts, completions, percentage, yards, and both passing and total touchdowns. But this didn't mean the NFL saw it that way. There were a lot of ups and downs and inconsistencies in Purdy's play those years, and his lack of improvement year to year made Brock drop and drop in value in the experts' eyes all the way to number 262. So on draft day, when he received the news of being picked Mr. Irrelevant, he accepted it, positive as always. Brock set out to prove everyone wrong. In an interview with ESPN, Brock said, I've always believed that I don't care what slot, what round, what pick that I get picked, or if I was undrafted. My whole thing was I just want to go out and prove to myself that I can play at this level. So that's always been my mentality. And that was this Young Bucks mindset. As we mentioned before, this season's magic started when Trey Lance and Jimmy Garoppolo went down, and the Niners, although having one of the most solid defenses in the NFL, allowing only 16 points per game, were in trouble. Jimmy Garoppolo, filling in for Trey Lance, was having one of his best seasons before he got hurt. It was just like when Carmelo Anthony went down for the New York Knicks on the hardwood, and the Linsanity era took over New York City. Mello was having one of the best seasons of his life and got injured to allow Jeremy Lin to have one of the most storied appearances in sports history, going from unknown to the most trending in days. Brock's story is one of perseverance and fight, the type of fortitude that Daniel Rudy Rediger had displayed in the historic story of Rudy and his obstacles to make the Notre Dame football team. Purdy has taken hold of the stuff that dreams are made of. Purdy is now leading the 49ers to win after win after win and not losing. This is simply unheard of in NFL history books. As we have stated, no Mr. Irrelevant has started an NFL game at quarterback, ever. Never mind excelling at the position and not losing. He went from third string to breaking the rookie touchdown record for the Niners to having the second highest passer rating of all time on top of superstar Patrick Mahomes at 119 in his first five starts as a pro. Let's look at what 49er legend Steve Young had to say about Brock when comparing Brock's poise to Patrick Mahomes. The kid has the fourth, and I think people understand what that means, Young said. The thing that we're describing is indescribable in some ways. It's the only word you can use, the fourth. 
something about you. You can rest assured, we will be seeing Tinseltown writing a script about this rookie's dreamlike career. So please follow us and subscribe to NFL Gym to like the video and comment as well. We can get many more stories like this out your way.